But why was Barak here? Tell us the truth, Barak. Barak, don't lie to us. Tell us the truth. Yebo Manzazi! Yeah, I'm excited too. And I want to give special thanks and special welcome to those who are watching from Nigeria and Uganda and Kenya, uh, a country obviously very close to my heart. Sometimes people ask me, you, you seem to have gotten so old since you were elected. <laughs> what happened? Uh, where's Michelle? And it's fitting that we gathered here in Joburg, in Soweto, not far from here, in Orlando West. Two young men came of age who would transform this nation and inspire the world. Nelson Mandela and Desmond Tutu. Now, not far from here, on a June morning, young students gathered in peaceful protest for the right to be taught in their own language. And as a senator, during my first visit to South Africa, I was able to go to Hector Peterson's memorial and pay tribute to an African boy who moved the world. Now, tomorrow I'll be down in Cape Town at the University of Cape Town, and I'll speak about the future that we can build together. And that's why three years ago I launched a new effort to make sure we're tapping those qualities of youth. The imagination, the courage, the yes we can attitude. We're launching a new program that's going to give thousands of promising young Africans, like you, the opportunity to come to the United States and develop your skills at some of our best colleges and universities. We're going to partner with your governments and regional organizations here in Africa and foundations and civil society. South Africa, did you see that? The podium was branded American style. We're outbranded in our own country. Barack Obama looks like he's talking in his own country. Aye, man, South Africa. This must never happen again. News that moves. ENCA.com.